Hi, this is Lauren Fogelman at ExpertSportsPerformance.com, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on being cool, calm, and confident under pressure for high performance. Today's topic is your sports training that's designed to win. What one athlete sees as obstacles, another's going to see as opportunities. And that's what we're going to talk about today, because I want to talk about actually Rosie Napravnik, she's a 25-year-old female jockey. She's setting her sights on winning the Kentucky Derby. Now, she didn't win the 139th one that was just this past weekend. She came in fifth, and that's better than two years ago when she came in ninth. She's actually the top-winning female ever for the Kentucky Derby, so she's already making her place in history, but she's not stopping at fifth. She has her sights on being number one, and being the one to beat. She wants to be not just the first female to win a Kentucky Derby, she just wants to win the Kentucky Derby. It doesn't matter what her gender is. But she does have some challenges. The status quo in the horse racing con community is really male dominated. It's been men for many, many years. Women have only been racing at that level for maybe the last 30 years or so. There have only been six women before her that have been racing at the Kentucky Derby. And this is her second time around, so she's really doing great. But a lot of the men there don't want to give her a chance with their horse. They think that she should go home and have babies. And when she's running a race, they try to crowd her out and intimidate her. So she really has to be very strong in her confidence and strongly connected to her vision in order to be able to step up and claim her spot as number one. She's actually taken the concept of up-leveled and has embraced it. By up-leveling, what I mean is she's acting as if she's already a Kentucky Derby winner. Her mindset and her physical training program go beyond the go beyond what averages, and she goes the extra mile. She puts in more and aims to be stronger mentally as well as as physically strong as possible to be able to have her space, claim what she knows is possible, and do the job. So let's look at what up-leveling means and the steps necessary so you can do that and really rise up above the competition and go that extra mile too. First is connect. You need to have a really strong connection to your vision. Do you know what your vision is? Do you have a really clear vision? At seven years old, Rosie declared that she was going to be a triple crown winner. She was really connected to that vision and has been for quite a while. After connect, change. Not only has she made changes because she's had to learn how to really be a presence in a male-dominated sport. But the sport itself is starting to make room for her. Every time she races and wins, she's changing the face of what a, what a jockey looks like. So not only is she changing to be able to step up into that position, but the community is changing because of her being there too. And after change is congruency. Her values and her actions are aligned. She's connected to that Triple Crown winning. She really sees herself as winning the Kentucky Derby. She shows up as if she's a winner. So what she cares about, you can see by just watching her and everything that she's doing. She's not making any excuses. She's not letting other people intimidate her. And she's not accepting no for an answer. Everything she's doing is saying, yes, I have my sights, I have my vision, and I'm doing everything possible to claim it. Add to congruency, confident. It takes confidence in order to be able to rise up to the challenge in such a competitive community. In fact, last year, she was one of the eighth top earners in the jockey community. She earned $12.4 million, and this year she's a fifth place earner. She has to be confident to be able to ride consistently at that level. 
And what you can see when watching her is she keeps a steady head and she has a steady hand with her horse. Those two things are starting to give her more and more wins. She's had over 1,500 wins since she started riding at 17 years old. She's gained a lot of confidence since those first days. Next is character. Rosie has great character. She's, first of all, comfortable being a woman in a man's world. She's always been a woman and she's always raced against a male-dominated community. She's always raced as a jockey in the horse racing community. That's what her reality is. That's what she knows. But it's her character that lets her be relaxed in the saddle, keeps her in control with her horse, and really is able to tune into him in a very intuitive way to be able to know when to hold back and know when to let him have his head and go. And she is strong enough to hold her own against any jockey. Like I said, they tried to run her out of a what race, push her against the rail, do other things to try to unnerve her, unnerve her. And when she sees those happening, her way to answer back is to give it all she's got and win the race. After character, continue. When she started out racing at 17 years old, she was shy and pretty scared. She's continued to stretch herself, go out of her comfort zone. As a result, she's gained a lot of insights into the racing community and into herself, what she needs to do and having her strengths come forward in order to be able to have it be a competitive race every single time that she's on the track, no matter what the circumstances are. Now let's look at you. What can you do to stretch out of your comfort zone? And where can you up-level your mindset? That's looking at your beliefs, your character, knowing your strengths, and how you feel about what you're setting out to do. When you have those things and you start to have that congruency that we talked about, and you start to get the results, your self-confidence raises too. You get some accomplishments, you deal with adversity, you get to the other side, and you recognize, I can do that. That's why your self-confidence raises as well. So what is it that you need to do to build your mindset to stay strong, no matter how com uncomfortable it might be for yourself, and to be able to rise up to the challenges so you have more successes and you're gaining that winner's edge? Think about that for yourself. And here's my challenge for you. I want you to think about up-leveling. What is your big vision that you want for yourself? And how does it feel connecting with that vision as if you've already had that happen? As if you've already stepped up to that place? And once you do feel that way, and you see yourself having done that, what would you be doing differently once you actually achieve that really big goal that you have? How would you have more confidence, what beliefs would you have to let go of? What new beliefs would you replace it with? How will your training change? Who you spend time with? What are the things that would change in order to be able to reach that final vision that you have of yourself? What can you do now to start to act as if, to up-level your experience of how you show up when you're ready to compete and you're in the heat of the moment? So think about up-leveling, up how it applies to you, if you're not ready to make some big changes, then start small. And as you see the successes, go big. I'd love to hear a comment from you what you took away from this training, how you're going to go ahead and up level and what you expect to gain from it. If you're interested in my free video training series, Seven Essential Steps for Peak Performance, go to my website, expertsportsperformance.com. Put your name and email address in the boxes right next to the video. Immediately, you'll get the first of the video training series. My mission is to show you how to stay cool when the heat is on. Lauren Fogelman, expert, sportsperformance.com.